Hello, my name is Dr. Emil Verbin, and in this video I will discuss how to fabricate a Verbin surgical guide. My guide is designed to be used with the Verbin drill stop allowing precise placement of implants with increased safety, precision, and reduction in surgical time. I will discuss the materials needed and my technique of fabrication that will result in a surgical guide which is easy to use and provides three-dimensional control of implant placement. Two burrs from Brassler are used in conjunction with a special stepped pin to form a channel for directional control along with a verbin drill stop for vertical control of the osteotomy. Shown here on the left is the guide and on the right a duplicate model on which I will show a step-by-step -step fabrication of the guide. On the guide you will notice an acrylic channel which controls the axis of the planned implant in the buccal lingual and mesial distal dimension. The third dimension, the vertical, is controlled by my drill stop. This channel is formed around a stepped pin which is slightly larger in diameter than my drill stop. I like to use an implant distance indicator by Strawman to mark the implant location on the model. The indicators are 3.5, 4.8, and 6.5 millimeters in diameter. As you can see here, the 4.8 is exactly the same as the implant platform. With this instrument, it is easy to position the platform of the planned implant with the proper spacing from adjacent teeth. Lines are drawn on the model to represent the roots of the teeth along with the axis of the planned implant. I like to use a Biostar pressure molding machine manufactured by Great Lakes Orthodontics with Invisicryl A.040 material to fabricate my guide. Prior to molding I would recommend soaking the model in water for a few minutes to prevent the material from sticking to the model. This material is flexible to allow you to remove it from your stone model without breaking the teeth and easy to insert in the mouth. Polymethyl methacolate will bond to this material which allows you to add acrylic to the O4O material to make it rigid for stability where it is needed for preparing the implant osteotomies. If you do not have a Biostar any other vacuum molding machine will suffice. The O4O material will be molded to the model marked with the Biostar machine. After removing the model from the Biostar, you will notice a slight wrinkle in the guide over the planned implant site. This always occurs and is removed with the .05 round acrylic cutter. After removing the wrinkle, a pointed burr is used to score the guide indicating where the center of the implant will be placed. I then use an old BTI pilot drill which is extremely pointed to score the guide where the model was previously marked. This will be the center of your planned implant. Next, a four or six round burr is used to enlarge the opening. A .023 acrylic cutter is then used to prepare the model with a simulated osteotomy in the axis you wish for your implant. As you can see the point .023 has created the planned axis for your implant. This is where the stepped pin will be inserted. A point .05 cutter is then used to enlarge the guide to allow placement of the step pin. Around the step pin, we will add clear acrylic to create a channel in the guide. Through this channel, a drill stop attached to the implant drill will be used to create the three-dimensional osteotomy for the implant. The guide is carefully trimmed for removal. A pro-electric knife is helpful in sectioning the guide for removal. After removal, the guide is trimmed and smoothed with a felt wheel. The guide can then be checked for undercuts, which will make it difficult to seat. They should be trimmed. Not shown in the video, but helpful at this stage, would be to coat the model with separator. The guide is now ready to be seated on the model 
and the pin placed for creating the channel. Cold cure acrylic is then mixed and flowed around the step pin to form the channel. The acrylic can be shaped and added to form a channel about 2 millimeters in thickness. The model can then be placed in a pressure pot to be cured or allowed to bench cure. By placing the model in a pressure pot, the cured acrylic will be clear and not cloudy. After 15 minutes, the model is removed from the pot, the step pin is removed, and the guide is separated from the model. By coating the model with separator before adding the cold cured acrylic, it will assure easy removal of the guide. A small flashing usually forms at the base of the guide and must be removed. If not, it will restrict the drill stop from passing through the guide. The guide channel can be trimmed and shortened to your desired height. As a result of adding cold cure to the guide, it will be more rigid and some additional relieving of the undercuts on the adjacent teeth may be necessary to allow for easy insertion in the mouth. A channel has now been formed in the guide in which the drill stop attached to the drills can be used to prepare the osteotomy. As shown here, the guide is very restrictive in controlling the axis of the osteotomy and with the drill stop attached to the drill, the depth of the osteotomy is controlled without the need to watch for markings on the drill. This system provides a three-dimensional control for precise implant placement. A common problem in the posterior area of the mouth is limited access. A slot can be cut in the side of the guide which allows the drill to be inserted from the side. The slot should be wide enough to allow for the 2.2 millimeter drill but also for the 2.8 and 3.5 drills. With this understanding of the guide, I would now like to discuss how to use the guide for precise implant placement. It is important to understand that a portion of the drill will be cutting into the bone before the drill stop engages the guide. To aid in centering the drill and allow the drill stop to engage the guide, the osteotomy is started with a drill stop on a round burr. The drill stop is positioned on this drill to fully engage the guide just before the drill touches the bone to begin cutting. With the drill stop positioned at this level, the osteotomy will be started exactly in the center of your channel. With your next drill, you will be able to insert the tip of the drill in the opening, keeping the osteotomy centered. As you progress apically, the drill stop will line up with the guide, control your axis, and limit your depth as the stop reaches the bone. In this example, the drill stop is set for 10 millimeter depth on the drill. As the drill cuts into the bone and the depth reaches 10 millimeters, the stop prevents the drill from progressing deeper. In some cases, special attention must be given to the height of the channel. For example, in patients who have long teeth, a low crest due to resorption or thick tissue, these situations may cause the handpiece to bottom out against the guide before you have reached your depth into the bone. To solve this problem, simply reduce the guide channel and trim the acrylic over the adjacent teeth. In some situations, it may be necessary to use a longer drill. The Verbin Surgical Guide and Verbin Drill Stop provides a simple, cost-effective solution for precise three-dimensional positioning of dental implants with the added benefit of increased safety.